Hey everybody, happy December. You know, right now I'm working with a company and they're a household name, not only in this country, but in at least 150 countries worldwide. And they're working on improving their sales conversation, even though they're a world leader. And you might ask, well, if they're a world leader, why do they need to improve their sales story? Well, it goes back to a survey that Forrester did not too long ago. And in this survey, Forrester asked executive buyers, they said, you know, when you have a meeting with a seller, how's it go? How, how, how does that meeting go? And what they heard back was pretty chilling. What they heard back from these executive buyers was that 89% of the time, the meeting failed to achieve the expectations that they had going into the meeting. For a seller, what that means is that means no second meeting and no sale. Now, this company wants to flip that number. Now, as I'm working with them, what I'm finding is abundantly clear is they understand the features and the capabilities of their solution top to bottom, no problem there. What they struggle with and what many organizations struggle with is how do you translate that information into something that means something to your customer? The moral of the story, and I've said this many times, is that while it's important to understand your solution, it really doesn't mean anything if you can't put it in terms that your customer can relate to. It's not about what your stuff does. It's about what your customer can do better or different as a result of having your solution. It's about what that means to them. Can they increase revenue? Can they reduce cost? Can they mitigate risk? And then you tie it back to the fact that they can achieve that only with your solution. Remember, I've said this also before. It's not your story. It's your customer's story. If you'd like to learn more, send an email to the address below with it's not my story in the subject line. And as always, thanks for your time.